In recent years, we as a society are becoming increasingly aware of how much we are altering our environment, and how much Earth has changed from how it once was, in its natural, undisturbed state. As a result, the concept of rewilding is becoming increasingly popular. Before I get started, if you've enjoyed my videos so far, or if you're new to this channel and you're interested in wildlife conservation and how you can get involved, then I'd really appreciate it if you could click below to subscribe and turn on your notifications for future videos. Rewilding is a term that can mean different things to different people, but generally it can be thought of as the practice of returning areas of land to a wild state. This usually includes the reintroduction of animal species that are no longer naturally found there. This is quite a new and different approach to conservation, and a very exciting one too, as it allows nature to take care of itself, rather relying on us to care for nature, although this is still very important. The simplest explanation of what rewilding is, is that we do what we can to help an ecosystem recover back to how it once was, before any human interference or damage, and then we leave that ecosystem to manage and regulate itself. A great example of rewilding is the Nep Castle Estate in West Sussex. The estate was farmed intensively for years, during and after World War II. However, organisations like Natural England and the Sussex Wildlife Trust got involved, eventually allowing natural processes to occur. After just a decade, the results have been amazing. Once desolate farmland, the Nep Estate is now a breeding hotspot for purple emperor butterflies, turtle doves and 2% of the UK's nightingale population, all rare species which are becoming increasingly difficult to find. This, like most things, doesn't come without challenges, but the results are more than worth it. Nep is just one of many exciting examples all across Europe of how rewilding can have a huge impact on biodiversity when it's accepted as an idea. Rewilding gives us another chance to connect to nature, and it gives nature another chance to exist as it should do, restoring food chains back to their original evolutionary state without humans making any unnatural interventions. Rewilding can also bring economic gains through tourism and healthier ecosystems which give us cleaner air and water, prevent flooding, store carbon and help us adapt to climate change. That said, it can be expensive, and for many people it could mean change, which isn't always very well accepted. Rewilding also needs time and space, and so it seems that its future success as a concept will rely solely on the sacrifices that people are willing to make, the willingness of society to accept the reintroduction of certain species, and altogether whether we think it's really worth it. And I for one can say that I think it is. I hope you enjoyed this video, you might have even learned something new. If you want to know more about rewilding and other real life examples of its success, then it would be great if you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.